Hi everybody, welcome to the fourth video in the derivatives section of this video series. In this video, we're going to talk about the chain rule and the power chain rule. So, before we cover the chain rule, it's helpful to review functions and composite functions, and we're going to quickly do that now. A function is a rule that assigns a unique output value to every allowable input value. And that's represented uh, here in this diagram. We have an input value, x, which is being put into a function, f, uh, represented by this gray rectangle. And we then get an output, f of x. The set of possible inputs is referred to as the domain of the function. And the set of possible outputs is referred to as the range of the function. And where a variable y is a function of a variable x, we can represent this as y is equal to f of x. So to talk about composite functions, with these, the output of one function is used as the input to another function. And that's represented here in this diagram on, on this screen. So here, we've got an input value x, and that's getting put into a function g. Uh, represented by this blue rectangle. And from here, we're getting an output, g of x. What we do then is we take that output, g of x, and we use it as the input to another function, f, represented by this gray rectangle. And from that, we get the composite function, f of g of x. So, to look at that again, in this example, the output of the g function is used as the input to the f function, and the function f of g of x is a composite function of g and f. So we can represent that in uh, more than one notation, which is shown here on the second last line of the slide. Um, we can read this as f of g of x, and to look at our last line of the slide, uh, we can see an example of a composite function. So y is equal to sine of 2x, uh, that is a composite function. So we're going to now look at finding derivatives of these composite functions, and specifically the rules that we can use to do that. Uh, also, we're going to look at some examples as well. So we're now going to look at the chain rule. The chain rule is used to find the derivative of composite functions. If a function f of u is differentiable at a point u is equal to g of x, and a function g of x is differentiable at x, then the composite function f of g of x is also differentiable at x. And we can write this using this equation here at the center of the screen. So our, what this is saying is that on the left-hand side of the equal sign, the derivative of our composite function, f of g of x, is equal to the derivative of f evaluated at g of x multiplied by the derivative of g of x. So when we initially look at that, it can be a little bit confusing, but we can think about it in a different way. With a composite function, we often have an outside function and an inside function. And here, with f of g of x, our f function is the outside function, and our g function is the inside function. What we're doing with the chain rule is we're finding the derivative of the outside function while keeping the inside function the same, and then multiplying by the derivative of the inside function. So that's really what we're doing when we apply the chain rule. Now we can write this in a different way as well, uh, where we look at the bottom of the screen. So if y is equal to f of u, and u is equal to g of x, this can be 
written as our derivative dy dx is equal to dy du multiplied by du dx. So our derivative of y with respect to x is equal to the derivative of y with respect to u multiplied by the derivative of u with respect to x. So to understand this a bit more, now we're going to see an example. So our example of using the chain rule, we want to find the derivative of y is equal to sine 2x. So this is a composite function where y is equal to sine u and u is equal to 2x. So to think about what's happening here, what we're doing is we're saying that our inside function is u is equal to 2x and we're saying that our outside function is equal to y is equal to sine of u. So in order to apply the chain rule, we're letting 2x equal to u and we're saying that's our inside function and then we're saying that our outside function is y is equal to sine of u. So now we're going to apply the chain rule to the function. So our chain rule, our derivative dy dx is equal to dy du multiplied by du dx. And here we know what y is and we know what u is, so we should be able to find uh, the derivative of y with respect to u and we should be able to find the derivative of u with respect to x. So first of all, we find the derivative of y with respect to u. We said that y is equal to sine of u. So we remember from trigonometry that our derivative dy du will be equal to cos of u. And we know that from our definition of our inside function, u is equal to 2x. So we can write dy du as cos 2x. So what we've done here is we've found the derivative of our outside function while keeping the inside function the same. Now we want to find du dx. Well, u is equal to 2x, so du dx uh, is, is equal to 2. So now what we do is we multiply the derivative of the outside function, which was found keeping the inside function the same, and was evaluated to be cos 2x. We multiply that by the derivative of the inside function, which was 2. So dy dx is equal to dy du multiplied by du dx, which was equal to 2 cos 2x. So that's the, that's the chain rule uh, in action in an example. So we can also use something called the power chain rule. And we can see that here. So for a function, f of u is equal to u raised to the power of n, where n is an integer and u is a differentiable function of x, the derivative with respect to x of u to the power of n is equal to n u, where u is raised to the power of n minus 1, multiplied by du dx. So here we're doing something similar to previously. We're finding the derivative of the outside function while keeping the inside function the same, and then multiplying by the derivative of that inside function. So here it is for an example. We want to find the derivative of y is equal to, open bracket, 3x minus 4, close bracket, cubed. Here we let our inside function, u, be equal to 3x minus 4. And we can find the derivative of that inside function with respect to x, the u dx, as being equal to 3. Now our chain rule says that our derivative with respect to x of u raised to the power of n is n by u, where u is raised to the power of n minus 1, multiplied by the u dx. So our function y is equal to 
3x minus 4 all cubed. To derive that using the power rule, we get 3 into bracket 3x minus 4 close bracket squared. And then we multiply by either udx 3. And when we multiply that out, we get 9 multiplied into open bracket 3x minus 4 close bracket all squared. So we've applied the chain rule again, but in a slightly different way. So there are two examples of uh, differentiation using chain rule. Uh, I hope you found them uh, helpful. So we've covered a number of differentiation rules now in this series. We've covered the constant rule, the power rule, constant multiple rule, sum rule, difference rule, product and quotient rule, and the chain and the power chain rule. So in our next section, what we're going to do is we're going to examine applications of derivatives. So using these rules to try and solve problems. Thank you for your time and see you in the next video.